happy Friday the 13th, all you junkies out there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, Friday the 13th. We're not suspicious. And uh, yeah, it's been a- Two weeks. A couple of weeks, a two, three weeks since we came to you. And uh, well, we're back. And uh, we're back because of one good reason. No crowds. Yay! So let's uh, let's get going. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, junkies, uh, just a, a little friendly reminder. This month, for past members at Bush Gardens, you get $10 in Bush Bucks. And also, don't forget the Serengeti Swing Passport to Thrills. Don't forget to get your January card. The Bush Box. And uh, passport to thrills. Remember, you got to get December. If you forgot December, well, you're you're SOL right now. <laughs> January and February. And guess what? Chances are we'll be riding in March. So all all you junkies out there, we're getting uh, served by Lexi and Piero. Piero. And they are getting us our bush bucks and our passport to thrills and our rap sheet. Uh, yep, we we don't have uh, Willie here. Hey guys. Willie probably just worked for the first couple of hours this morning. <laughs> and he left already, so. Let's go. Let's go on the rides. Woo! <laughs> Friday the 13th, I'm not sure what's going on, but Iron Gwazi only has a currently, according to the app, a five minute wait. And we are getting ready for Mardi Gras. That's right, folks. We're gonna get ready to party now. Um, let's let's just double check this. Um, yep. It says five minutes. This is going to be a walk on for us. Oh, and look who we see, Gail! <laughs> good morning, Gail. I mean, good afternoon. How are you? Junkies, junkies, this is Gail here. She's uh, another famous VIP, just like um, Gert. And only only thing is, yeah, only thing is, Gail actually likes the roller coasters as much as us junkies do, as opposed to Gert, which we still have to get her on something other than the train. She'll go on the train. She'll go on the train. Well. Yeah. All right. So, Gail, we got our. Good to see you. We're going up. I'm going up. And away we go. And this is uh, the ADA pathway ramp for Iron Gwazi. And yet they got a train going up. And music, oh yes. It's been a while. So now we get to ride her again after a couple of weeks. Yep, only five minute wait.
just a little bit surprised to see the gators are actually out of the water. I'm sure there's a couple of them in the water, but you know, you'd think that they would uh, tend to go back in the water and keep a little bit warm. Hi there. Just chilling, huh? Literally. Ah, now he looks. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, and the other one's over there. Yeah. I don't think he saw, oh, he saw him, but he couldn't see him. I mean, he saw him, but I don't think he noticed him. Yeah. So, I guess it's not windy enough for cheetah hunt. Oh, and we still have Christmas Town decorations up. Well, the photo op for 2022. So here we go guys, cheetah hunt. See if they kept the water on. I heard that they got the water taken away. Oh, what a rush. They did take the water away. We had it for about a week. So don't forget to check out that point of view. It was a Merry Christmas from the Bush Garden Junkies. And that one we got the water. So but either way, it's still a great ride. So we here we are here on the ADA loading section for Cobra's Curse. As soon as that train goes by, we'll slide on over, over to the main track. Yeah, it is kind of cool that they use the transfer track for ADA loading, isn't it? Uh, and uh, yeah, Friday the 13th, everything is pretty much walk on uh, okay oh did you feel that wasn't quite centered One of those days where 
we're probably going to get all the rides in. It goes so slow. There we go. And on this weekend, my power goes. Yeah, I don't think your power is going to grow that much. Oh, we will escape it. We will escape. Oh. And like I always say, round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. <laughs> All right. definitely escaped the Cobra's curse. Uh, yeah, we escaped it a little bit. <laughs> Our legs escaped reality for there for a minute. <laughs> so, what do we got? Three, three or four turns in that one? Three or four spins and hey, guess what? We're doing a total 360 again. <laughs> and right back where we started. Right in the ADA section. Well, so far, we basically almost walked on every single ride. This is Montu now, the fourth ride. Pretty good for coming here and one hour ago and getting on four rides. We're gonna go ahead and see how Montu fares up to the cold weather. And there goes the floor. <laughs>
I don't think they let it all out before they got on. since we've seen the hippos. Where are the hippos? And, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There's one hiding right here. Right there, along the wall. Moto, Moto, take it up. I did a fish to do up his booty crack. Yeah. Right there. He's like, GG. Looks like a pink tail, so it could be Debbie. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they got work walls here. We can't go through this way. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, that is something new. And, uh, yeah. I, I wish we knew about that. So we'll have to go the other way. Because that way is uh, blocked off. We'll have to go around this way. And hopefully they didn't block this way off. People walking that way. Yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. We'll go on the edge of Africa. And out there in the edge of Africa. We see the rare human in a truck. <laughs> they did a, uh, no, they did not fix up our mirror catch yet. They got a heat lamp up for our parking pines, which are inside. So we'll have to go around and see. Our porcupine friends, nice and toasty today. So 
here, if we look back there, we got more work balls. Let's go up behind the work balls. Uh, we are just cruising along here. Uh, between the hippos and the uh, lions and hyenas, there was a uh, work wall's up, and they're working on that little area there. So, squirrel. <laughs> huh? Ooh. These birds came up a little bit closer. There is Bubba and Jimmy. Uh, of course, staying way back there. Hello, Bubba. Hey, Jimmy. Hi. In Southwest Ranches, there's a breeder who has like a Still with some of the Christmas decorations up. Oh. Oh, this was on the train. Did we say we missed something? And then we have the Serengeti Fire. Well, folks, it looks like it's done, but I'm sure there's a lot more work for the queue line and everything else that they got to do. Oh. And then we got the elephants. Yeah, yeah, today they're stinky. Well, they might be stinky every day, but not every day we smell them. <laughs> That's true. So, we're not here every day, so. Well, every day that we are here, we don't smell them every single time. <laughs> it is definitely gone. Completely gone. Phoenix is no more. Wow, they took all of that out. I said something like that a, a while ago that the Phoenix flew too close to the sun and uh, well got burnt up and uh, the Phoenix is not gonna fly anymore well yeah it's a definite not gonna fly anymore the Congo station is still closed and just across from it, they still have the tunnel of lights. Squirrel!
Not sure if they haven't taken these down since the last time we had a freeze or they're just taking a precaution. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to freeze tonight or not, but uh, it is definitely cold for us Floridians. But they have reopened the Congo River Rapids, so I guess it's not that cold. Yeah, right. <laughs> the tree top trails area, along with Wild Surge, is still closed. And we're gonna see if we can see any of our orangutan friends. Yeah, I don't blame them. It might be too cold for them. And not up there. Yeah, not up there. Yeah, they still have the barricades up in front of the sky ride. It's still closed. But uh, rumor has it it's because they're waiting on parts. Um, when uh, Hurricane Ian came through, did something with the cable possibly. Not 100% sure what's going on, but yeah, there's a good chance that it's uh, something that they're gonna have to wait on parts for. Yeah. Still cookies and cocoa. Unfortunately, no more cookies and cocoa because Christmas town is over, folks. We are all getting ready for Mardi Gras. Yes, Mardi Gras is here starting tomorrow. That is January the 14th. And coming up to the Stanleyville Theater, we got the Real Music Series. Let's see who we got going on at the Real Music Series. We have January 17th to the 22nd, we have the Kings of Queen. Face to face, January 24th to 29th. Foreigner's Journey, January 31st to February 5th. Steve Michaels as Elvis, February 7th to the 12th. Direct from Sweden, February 14th to the 19th. And The Purple Experience, February 21st to the 26th. Oh, it's sad to see this every time we come by here. But yet, Seeker is still closed for annual maintenance. Uh, rumor has it, folks, they did get a new computer system or computer console, control room, something along those lines, maybe a computer upgrade. But yeah, something to do with the control system has been updated or upgraded. And, uh, Yep, it's still though being worked on so we may have to wait another week or two before we can get back on Shikra. Probably a good thing not to be on it today. It's a little cold. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to hear us complain about it, but hey, for us Floridians, anything under 75 is cold. Well, for me. My wife, she likes it 70 or below. Mm, not this dang cold. <laughs> not this dang cold. <laughs> All right. So, as we're passing over here, we're going to see if we have any water. Which we do have water. There is definitely water there. Water, but no shikra, so no splash zone today, folks. Too cold for it anyway. Well, now we're leaving the Christmas town. <laughs> Not really Christmas town, but Christmas decorations to enter into Mardi Gras. Yeah. I don't think they are gonna spread it all around except for a little bit right here and over there 
hopefully in the uh, area. Ooh, we get to check out the new yep. spring pack roof. See, can't go that way. So let's see what we got here. We have the Jackson Square with gumbo, shrimp, creole, and jambalaya. Tasty, good old Mardi Gras dishes. That's all right here in booth seven. Over here in booth eight, we have the Nola Creamery with a Margu Mardi Gras parfait and a mini Mardi, Mardi Bunt cake. <laughs> and uh, of course we got some more stuff here, but we're gonna check out the new Springs Tap Room. And uh, see the changes that they made in here. And boy, did they make some changes. Handcrafted cocktails, some bites to eat, beer on tap. Now, for the handcrafted cocktails, uh, they're $13.99. We got the Bush Boulevard, the Nairobi Negroni, Aperol Spritz, the Dawa, Old Fashioned Paloma Hot Honey Margarita, and the Hemingway. And then for some snacks, we got fruit and cheese, pepperoni and cheese. Protein power pack, the fruit and veggie protein pack, and the Mediterranean sampler. And uh, beer on tap. You choose your own beer flight for seven ounce samplers for $16.99. 16 ounce craft import, $12.99. And a 16 ounce domestic. $11.99. Continuing on with our Mardi Gras tour. Yeah, we're coming in the back way. And we have the Coke uh, Pavilion Coke Canopy here, which they're probably going to have some live bands. We have a few more Mardi Gras booths over here. Along with the bead throwing station. Oh, the Sweet Benet Brass Band. And booth number five, we have the Hurricanes. Hurricane, throw me some beads punch. Spice Rum Sangria. Mardi Gras Bach and King Cake Ale. And over here, there's another booth. The Esplande Street Bites. Ah, there's gonna be a sausage po' boy, crawfish etouffee. I hope I pronounced that right. Dirty rice and beans. And it looks like right there is the end of Mardi Gras. So it does look like they are gonna contain most of the boots all in this area. So, beads, beads, more beads. And of course, a nice decoration for Mardi Gras with the fur de lis.
No, we got the dates right there. January 14th, tomorrow, to March 5th. tasting something like that especially that one more beads and over here this is where they normally keep all the Mardi Gras other boots so let's see the Mardi Gras We'll probably be here for Mardi Gras one of these days. Oh. They're just getting stuff ready in there. I do see people back there. Yeah, as you can tell, the park is quite empty and quiet. But, um, yeah, I was expecting more people to be here considering it's a Friday. And considering uh, it's cold. But uh, usually Friday, they would have uh, all come here after work and after school. Guess not. Yep. Coming back to Anguazi and it's only a 20 minute wait. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get on it and ride it. Probably another one or two more times before we head out. So, uh, got some more Mardi Gras decorations and yeah, so it's basically from Iron Guazi, the Guazi Plaza and uh, looks like everything's in a normal area. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new record. What did we get today? 1,400? Yeah, 1,400. 1,400 rides. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see where I'm at exactly right now. 1,415. That's where I'm at right now. 1,415. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been doing a marathon today, I think. Yeah. That, that was just 23. This is going to be 24 today. Yeah. Yeah. It is cold. Does, doesn't it feel good to be young? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, us 50 old old people here, we, we can't do that 24 times in a day. <laughs> I did it 42 on Wednesday. On Wednesday, it was really dead. Yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, I, I'll have to rename my channel from the Bush Gardens Junkies to these guys are the Bush Gardens Junkies. <laughs> the Gwazi Junkies. The Gwazi Junkies. Gwazi junkies. <laughs> All right, have a good one, guys. Well, there is a good reason why Iron Gwazi was down for a, about three or four days a couple of weeks or a week ago. Right there right at that little dip they refurbished some of the wood so with that said um yeah we took our third ride two in a row make that two in a row on uh, iron Gwazi, three total today and it's just too a cold a little bit too cold for us old floridians I thought you were gonna say old folks Old folks, old Floridians. No, old Floridians. Old, old parts. 
No. We're not old farts. I might name right. <laughs> okay, and that'll call it that'll be it for us today. We're we're starting to talk about farts, so You are. No, you're the one that brought it up. So we're gonna we're gonna end it right here and um, have fun from the Bush Gardens Junkies. See y'all!